Good morning, everyone. Happy New Year. This is Pelican Lake behind me, and we're gonna head down there shortly and try and hook into a good walleye, maybe a perch and a pike. I just pulled into the boat launch, so we're just gonna run inside and get ourselves a cup of coffee and a couple scoops of minnows and head out on the lake. Welcome. <laughs> Good luck so we got our minnows, we got our coffee, a little bit of tackle. We're gonna head out onto the ice now. All right, we made it to our spot here. I think we're, according to the map, we're in like 10 feet of water. So we're gonna start punching some holes here. And of course I forgot my fish finder at home so we won't actually have a accurate measurement of how deep the water is. Honestly, it's such a gorgeous day. It's like plus one right now. Uh, some people are probably gonna hate what I'm gonna do here, but I'm gonna set up the shack and sit inside. That over there is Manhattan Point. I do like Lake Winnipeg set up along an ice ridge. It's kind of a featureless lake, not a lot of structure. So sometimes topside structure can be a fish attractor. I don't know. I just wanted kind of a spot where I could get away from some people, but it's a busy lake. We're gonna run through kind of our three lures. We're basically just using three different rods that are still intact, mostly just mediums. So first lure we're gonna use is a Frostbite Dinner Bell in gold. Second one is a Tantrum in Fire Tiger. And then I don't know if you can see this, but we're gonna be using a Tungsten Jig in Fire Tiger as well. So I think what we're gonna do is we're always gonna leave the Tungsten Jig down there because there are a lot of perch in this lake and small walleye. So that's kind of gonna be the always down there bait. We're probably gonna tip that with a minnow head. And then we're gonna probably alternate back and forth between the uh, dinner bell and the rattle bait as far as attraction goes on some of these fish. There we go. There's a fish. Finally, after a long wait, feels like either a walleye or a pike. Feels kind of pikey now that I think of it. This won't be a perch. <laughs> so yeah, just caught this pike on a frostbite dinner bell. So you saw I just reeled up my other line just cause pike, they can get kind of squirrely and they'll tangle every line that you have in your shack. So sometimes it is nice if you can reel in your lines before you get the pike at the hole. Oh, here we go. It's actually a decent sized one. Oh, he's barely hooked. If I could turn his head up this hole. Oh, it's a good sized pike. He's got a big head. So the key to fighting these big fish on kind of lighter gear is just let him tire himself out, right? Like, as long as you keep your rod tip bent, that hook shouldn't go anywhere, right? He's got a big head anyways. <laughs> Filled this eight inch hole. Okay. Here we go. Oh man, look at that. That's a big fish. So we're gonna put this on the bump board here and see how big that is, but that's a big fish. Here. Just got this fish unhooked here. We're gonna give him a measure. Yeah. So I don't know if you can see this, but this pike makes the 41 inches. Let's look at this great big northern pike here before we let him go master angler here on pelican lake Woo, caught on the gold dinner bell here we go saying goodbye here we go 
saying goodbye to this big girl. There she goes. She waves goodbye. <laughs> I forgot my fish finder. I forgot my camera. Just in a rush this morning, not thinking, probably overtired. There we go. Feel like a walleye. I'll be a walleye. Oh yeah, might make it as an eater. There we go. There we go. That's what we've been waiting for all day. Now hopefully that's an eater. So anyway, got to throw back everything under 35 centimeters. This is 36. So that's a keeper. So that's gonna be dinner. There we go, another one. Another little walleye. This one is gonna be too small to keep, but uh, caught again on that dinner bell. It's a little bit too small for the slot limit here, so this fish is gonna go back. Zero fish on the rattle bait. Zero fish on the jig. There we go, another walleye. Cookie cutter from that last one. Anyways, it's starting to get dark out here. I don't know if you guys can see this or not. But, uh, yeah. Another walleye on the dinner bell. Definitely too small to keep, but we'll get them unhooked. I even got my bait back. Look at that. Anyways, there is our walleye. Usually, <laughs> a telltale sign of being on fish is having a nervous minnow that's going to be more active and some minnows are just more active than others but usually if you drop a minnow down and he's chilled out and all of a sudden he starts kicking usually that's kind of like when you're in the woods and you hear the squirrels start barking because something's moving around right and so nature has its little ways of kind of giving us hints about what's going on even when we can't see it there we go that was a hook there we go. It's a walleye. Come on up the hole. Up the hole there, Mr. Pickerel. Good size walleye. There we go. <laughs> That's what we're fishing for. Pelican Lake walleye bit on the frostbite dinner bell. Let's see, 23 or so inch walleye from Pelican Lake here. So yeah, they get a lot bigger than this, but anyway. There he goes, eh? There he goes. There we go. I felt better. It's got some weight. I like that a lot. Come on. Oh no, why? Why? Oh my goodness. Man, why am I so bad at this? There we go. Got a fish on this one. Might be a pike. We're gonna find out. Not exactly using the uh, heaviest line, so this might be a little bit of a long drawn out fight. Help you fight a fish. Oh geez. 
this pike is just not ready to give up. I'm very hopeful it's under 30 inches, which I'm starting to doubt it will be, just because I'd really like to, uh, to eat, but it doesn't look like he will be. Just barely hooked. Just barely. Barely, barely, barely. Anyways, that won't be a legal keeper, but it's a nice fish nonetheless. Okay. <laughs> cool. We'll give him a measure on the bump board. A little smaller than that early one. We're gonna send him back home. goodbye just wrapped up here trucks running so we're gonna head back to back to town we kept one walleye caught quite a few more and honestly I think the highlight of the day was catching that trophy pike it's not every day you show up here and hook into one of those um, could have probably had them in a little bit faster but uh, we were using lighter gear hoping for some perch and some walleye and stuff so I'm not complaining we got them topside so all is well Anyways, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel.